Paul Cadmus, 1904 to 1999. Paul grew up in New York City. His father was a commercial artist. His mother illustrated children's books. Paul produced about 120 paintings during his life. He claimed he only produced about two paintings a year. Although he did quite a few other very well done figure drawings, mostly of men. At 15, he attended the National Academy of Design and spent six years there and got quite a good education. He went on to take figure classes at the Art Students League in New York City. Went to Europe with a buddy of his and then came back when he was broke and uh, got hooked up with the WPA program with the New Deal and produced one painting uh, of some Navy guys and it was quite controversial. It was called The Fleet's Inn. And Admiral Hugh Rodman told Claude Swinson, the Secretary of the Navy, that the painting was disgraceful, sordid, disrespectful, and a drunken brawl. Needless to say, it was not well received. A lot of his paintings are really about satire and caricature, showing crowds of people at the beach or in a restaurant or uh, wherever. And they're very interesting. Uh, I've heard him described as being super real in the sense that there's just a lot going on in each one of them. And I've zoomed in on a few of these to show you the different characters. And in a lot of ways, they look a lot like Robert Crumb and some of his stuff, as well as S. Clay Wilson, two Zap comic book artists that I've always ad admired. Art critic Dor or Dore Aston said he was an also ran skewed Saturday evening post painter and did not take him seriously. However, I do take him seriously. I think he was a good painter and he produced some beautiful paintings. He used egg tempera so they have a, a different effect, kind of like Thomas Hart Benton's work. But nonetheless, they're very well done. In the 1940s, he befriended and had a relationship with another painter named George Tucker, who was another painter that I will do another uh, Naked Artist video on. Uh, I like George Tucker's work as well. Apparently he and Paul were uh, close and had quite a relationship. Finally, Paul died in Western Weston, Connecticut at the age of 94. I hope some of these have inspired some thoughts about how paintings are to be made and how complex they can be. I, I generally like them. There's a story about them. There's a narration. And another newer painter, Adam Miller, is a painter that's kind of taking this another step further without the uh, emphasis on um, homo erotica, but more on just the passion, social passion of people. Interesting, another artist to look at. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll continue to make some more of these. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Preston McCall.